All right, chop him every chance you get. Fright, fright, fright. All right, creeps, it's fourth and ghoul. They're probably expecting us to run a ghost pattern, so let's run a scream pass instead. <laughs> of course, I could pull out a few other surprises from my playbook, like tonight's tale. It's about a couple of brothers who are planning a little high scaring of their own. In a nasty bit of offense, I call people who live in brass hearses. Drank all the Hawaiian punch. I don't know. Butter. No thanks. Hey Billy. Do you think that Frank? Did Jesse James ever plan a warehouse robbery? Maybe. An ice cream warehouse, Ben, you think, maybe? No, not an ice cream warehouse, little brother. Well, we're still a lot like Frank and Jesse James, ain't we, Billy? Yeah, kind of to shut up and watching this. And of course, Frank and Jesse James rode horses, and we drive around an Impala, but an Impala is a kind of horse, right, Billy, ain't it? Hey! Enough of this Jesse James shit! Forget about him, he was a wussy! Did he ever do two years in San Quentin like I did, did he? No, Billy. Oh, shit, Virg, you know what? No, I didn't mean that. You know that, right? Right? Hey, come on. Come on now. Who's your big brother, huh? Huh? Who's always looking out for you, huh? You are Billy, you're the best. <laughs> you goddamn right I am. Now, come on, what's with all the questions about the gig tomorrow? You getting nervous? Oh, Billy, I know what to do. Well, good, because we can't afford any fuck-ups in the well, camera. sure can't. That'd be trouble. That'd be big trouble. Yeah, big trouble. So let's go over it one more time. Who's on your shift? Uh, Tom and Cooter. All right, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get in there? Tell old Tom to go pick up the transfer over at 41 right away. And if he gives you any grief? Tell him that the call came down from the district super. And then I'll wait for Cooter to go on his break, and then, and, and then, um, um, unlock the door. No! Door. God! You disengage the fire alarm, then you oh, unlock the right. door. You got it? Right. Please tell me you got it. Right, right, I'm sorry. I'll remember, Billy, I promise, I promise. Good. Let's hope so. All right, all right, now for that. Now get your shirt on. There's one thing I want to do before the shit hits the fan tomorrow. What's that, Billy? Eat a little ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
some things never change, no matter how long you've been away. We'll meet again, Mr. Byrne. Patience, my little friends! Patience! Remember, there's a method to my madness! Looks like all our friends want ice cream. Yeah. Of course they do, little Willie. But what should we do first? Buy the big one. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's the big one Danny wants, Mr. Bird, I'd recommend one of my delicious Frosty Freeze fruit drinks. Oh, that's a good idea, little Willie. They come in eight exciting flavors, and they're good for you, too. In fact, I think I'm going to have one right now. Why don't you tell the boys and girls a little doc-doc joke while I enjoy this fabulous new 79 cents drink sensation? <laughs> okay, boys and girls, who wants to hear a knock-knock joke? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> All right, knock-knock. Who's there? <gasps> uh -oh. I said, who's there? What's the matter, Bird? Don't you recognize one of your old vendor buddies? I used to drive a rig just like this. Of course, look a little worse to wear. See, I just spent the last two years of my life riding in prison. But you should remember that. You put me there. I remember, William. You were trimming your profits, selling your inventory on the side. You were stealing. Hurry it up, butthead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's absolutely right, kids. Uh, I got what I deserved. Hey, and to show you what a sport I am, I'll even take something to go. Let's see. You got anything in uh, butternut? Nope. Butter brickle. Nope. Buttermilk? Nope. I do have butterscotch. Fine. Make it two. Mm. Can you break this? Certainly. I do hope you don't harbor any hard feelings, William. I mean, what's done is done. <laughs> Gee, you're a smart man, Bird. I only wish I'd have come and talked to you sooner. Hey, kid. Eat up. Loser. All right, who wants some ice cream? Surprise. Hey. Thanks. You'll get yours tomorrow, Bird. Billy, he's just an old puppet, man. I don't care if he can pull monkeys out of his ass with a hairpin. I want payback! Oh, sure, Billy. Anything you say. You've done hard times. <laughs> Oh, here, hell, have mine. Go on, take it. I lost my taste for the stuff. Transfer. What? And who authorized that? District Super. Oh, God damn it. Damn him. How am I supposed to keep things running smoothly around here when all I'm left with is you two, you, you knuckleheads? He should know that Mr. Bird is not a man who likes to be kept waiting. Been that way for 15 years. 
When Mr. Bird has a scheduled pickup, he arrives on time. And he expects the same courtesy in return. That's something that we call good old-fashioned values. You know, you boys could learn a thing or two from Mr. Bird. Oh, I think we know all we need to know about Mr. Bird. Ain't that right, boys and girls? Hell's bells, Billy. Is that you? Scooter, how you been? Oh. Hey. Good day, Miss Profunda. And good day to you, Mr. Bird. I'll have your order ready in a jiffy, but bear with me. I'm a man short today. Oh, oh, no problem. So, Mr. Bird, are we going to have the pleasure of seeing you at the Vendor Awards this year? Oh, uh, this year? Oh, I'm afraid not, Mr. Fonda. Well, it sure would be a welcome change to see you there in person. It's funny, but uh, <clears throat> I just purchased a lavender pantsuit, mm, and it would look mighty snazzy next to a fine gentleman like yourself. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Grafunda, but uh, I'm not much for such frivolous functions. Oh, me neither. Let's say we just blow it off and have a nice quiet dinner alone together. Oh, you know, I make the best potato chip and green bean casserole you ever no, I, tasted. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Fine. I'm not upsetting you, am I? I said fine! It'll be $156. $156? Yes, that's what I said. Here we go. Now you get it? Now you see what I'm talking about? We get him in here where nobody's gonna see us, and then we do the dirty deed. It's an extra 500 in cash, easy. But you didn't have to break Cooter's nose, Billy. Virgil, the guy's an idiot. Forget no, about him. No, he's not. He's smart, Billy. He really is. Like, one time he asked me who'd win in a fight, Darth Vader, Robocop, and the Monsters, and I thought Darth Vader'd win, but Cooter, he'd done, like, a whole bunch of research about it. We shut up! Fuck, you stupid as he is. Oh, shit. Virgil! Virgil, come on, don't do this to me. All right, when Grafunder walks back to her office, Bird's De Niro, what are you gonna do? Oh, shit. Virgil! You're gonna wait till she pops that safe open, then you're gonna step in behind her, right? Right? Then you're gonna keep her there nice and quiet while I take care of Bird, you got it? Virgil, please. We don't have time for this shit right now. I need you on this one. No, you don't. Come on, yes, I do. No, you don't even... We're a team. You don't even yeah, like me. Are. You're I always like you. yelling at me, and you're hitting me and stuff. No, and you, you got just... that all wrong, baby brother. Don't you get it? Don't you see? It's not me. It's them. Who? Them, everybody. Everybody out there saying the DeLuca brothers are shit. Screw them. They're garbage. They're scum. Who's saying that? Everybody, Virgil. Everybody. No. Yeah, oh yeah. Cops, bankers, lawyers. Even graph under. Virgil! I'm running a bit late. All right, all right, hold your horses. Lazy jerk can't even load his own truck. <laughs> Why should that change? Been that way for 15 years. Virgil! I hate her. So do I, bro. But we're outnumbered. You and me's all each other's got. I'm gonna hurt her, Billy. I'm gonna hurt her for you. That'll show him. No, 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 no. You just follow the plan. Yeah, but I want to. I want to hurt her, Billy. Okay, do what you gotta do. Give her a titty twister, too. But use your head. Okay, Billy. Okay, sure. Virgil! Virgil! All right. All right, go, go. Stumbling around like you haven't got a brain in your head. Go get Cooter in the two of your load birds truck. Hurry up! That jerk's got a stick up his ass about prompt attention. Son of a bitch. Ow! <laughs> haven't you ever heard of knocking? Oh, wipe that stupid smile off your face. Why do you think that's funny, huh? You know, people have been, have been crippled for falls less than that. Billy says uh, I gotta keep you here. Yeah, what's he got to do with anything? The stupid idiot. Oh, 
Hope your slime ball brother rots in prison. <sighs> Let's have some service out here. Hop to it, people. Miska Thunder. Come on. Get out of the truck. Shit. What happened? Where's Graf Thunder? I, Billy, I didn't like you said. Miska Thunder. Tell me what you did. Tell me what you did exactly. Billy. Oh. Oh, Billy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Billy, I didn't mean to... <laughs> Miss Grafunda! Stay here! Let's get that safe. Move it. No. 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 Oh, no. She closed the safe. Please tell me you took the money out. No, I didn't take it out, Billy. You said you'd do it. That's the plan. <laughs> Freaking murder one, and we didn't get shit. Billy, what about the puppet, man? Oh. He's still got money, don't he? He said he had 500 bucks, easy. Yeah. The puppet man. Bird. We want it all. We don't mean 31 flavors. Yeah! No, no, please. Spare me. It wasn't my idea to report you. I tried to talk him out. Freeze! Enough of this crazy shit. Show him, Bird. Show him we got ways of making him talk. Right, Billy! You fucking idiot. Oh. Wouldn't tell us where the money was, would he? <laughs> Is he gonna tell us now? Huh? Is he? Is he? You fucking retard! Oh shit! Just find the money, okay? You check the bedroom! Oh, I'll search the rest of the house! Do it!
ice cream. How fucking original. Virgil, get in here. You gotta see this. Virgil! Hey, Virgil! You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? No! You're dead! I warned you. Virgil! Virgil! It's just you and me, William. And it ain't over yet. <laughs> it's payback time! No! No! Yes, yes. It's sad, isn't it? I'll bet you and your brother were real close. Uh, uh, fuck you! Let me tell you about my brother. Well, we were close too. Until he died. Uh, uh, In fact, we're still uh, close. Uh, Look. Kind of like a, a bond, isn't it? Kind that you can't easily walk away from. Now, what do you mean? Brother Earl, he wasn't quite a social butterfly, but when he was doing Little Willie's voice, he was one hell of an ice cream salesman. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss him. Go to hell, you freak! You look first. <laughs> They can blow me. And you smell too. <laughs> you hear that, Earl? The kid says we suck. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. And we smell. Go figure. Shame about Billy and Virgil. But you know what they say, kiddies. Two deads are better than one. <laughs> and as for Bird, he stayed in the ice cream business and did very well. Everyone loves Ben and Scaries. <laughs> well, I gotta get back to my practice. Next week we're playing the Washington Dreadskins. 45, 22, 33, hot, hot. You idiot! I didn't call for a handoff! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>